my name is Miss Ina Renteria and this is going to be our infant video for the week. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for uh, keep continuing to watch our videos, continuing to uh, enjoy them as much as we do. Um, we have so much fun doing these videos for you guys. So thank you for always coming back. Thank you for always giving us the great feedback. And as we know, our little ones are getting a little bit, you know, of course, uh, we do have some little ones that are already starting to go, uh, to recognize our, our, our voices and even your voices. Um, you have your little ones already wanting to sit up. We have the little ones that want to start um, grabbing and touching. And that's what makes it all fun just to see our infants growing and learning so much. And then you as well as moms and dads, you know, seeing this uh, development of your children is is awesome uh, what we have right now i'm gonna go ahead and start with our greeting song from our greeting song we go ahead and i read the book and from reading the book we go ahead and talk about our activities that we have we talk about the family will me be and then we talk about child development some great information for you guys to have and all this information mom and dad's is included in your um it's included in the packet that you received um, you will have all these forms in there and of course um, when you contact when your home visitor contacts you you'll be able to discuss it a little bit more but this is just to give you a head start of what the activities are are in mind and what is it that we're going to be talking with that next week so here we go miss cindy's here today miss cindy's here today clap 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 miss cindy's here today so we want you to sing this song to your little one and um, by now, hopefully, they already know or they're trying to clap their hands or they're moving their hands and feet up and down or they're able to actually clap or mimic or you just keep staring at your mouth. You'll notice that a lot, which is good because that means this is language development. This is everything for them. High, high hand coordination when they try to clap. You know, we're doing a lot of, of targeting a lot of objectives for our little ones when we do this song. And always remember, just incorporate your name, the baby's name. Uh, mom and dad, brother and sister, you know, or your pet, make it fun for them and sing for them. And that gives you that one and one with your little one. Uh, we do want to have that eye contact when you're singing to them. It's very important. And I know you guys are doing an awesome job. Um, you guys are awesome parents and we already um, can see that. So I have this book for this week. It's, I just wanted to incorporate this one this time around so you guys can have an idea The books come in different sizes, shapes, and textures. This is a book that we have here. They can actually be like, like a take-along book and it has a zipper to open it. And this is more like a continued learning for your little one once um, you guys read the book together. But I... I want to read this book to I wanted to bring this book along so you'll be able and especially right now we have the little ones that what put everything in their mouth and this is perfect you can throw it in the washer make sure it's clean and the little um, inserts inside are very um, age appropriate for our infants so this is an, a little cute book that I wanted to bring along so I'm gonna go ahead and start it like we always do this is the front cover of the book home sweet home we have the spine of the book and we have the back of the book this house is very happy and dandy. It has all these pretty flowers. Like right now in spring, we see all these flowers blooming and we see all these allergies blooming. But hey, this weather is getting really, really nice. So what we have here, turtle lives in a shell. We have our little turtle inside our shell. Birds build the nest. You see the little birdie? You put it in the nest. Fish swim in the fish bowl. If your little one's a little bit older, you can try to have them to put in the fishbowl or put in the fish in the fishbowl or try taking it out just to give them a hands-on. And then we have cows graze um, behind the fence. This cow is trying to get to the hay. He's just right behind the fence. And then we have here, bees make honey in the hive. Zzz. The bee is making honey for mommy's tea and honey for the baby for our little one's pancakes. Horse sleep in the stable. Look at this horse inside the stable. And we have here is Joey. Joey's are carrying in a pouch. A baby kangaroo is a Joey. A little baby like the mini we have. He's being carried around by mommy's kangaroo. And a lot of times mommies have those, um, which is called a, a kangaroo or so, and they carry their babies around, you see, just like a little kangaroo. And lastly, we have dogs 
rest in their kennel. We have a little dog in the kennel. He goes back in and he comes out. He has up water and bone. That dog looks like a little uh, Dalmatian dog. And this is the end of the book. And remember, moms and dads, you know, this kind of book, um, we can actually be perfect for tummy time, have the little one um, touch it, look at all the different textures, the different colors. And if your old, your baby's already able to sit up, this is something that he can look at. And if we're already reaching 11, 12 months, they're able to pull it out and bring it in. This has a lot of fine motor skills. Putting it back in where it belongs. And you'll be impressed. As many times as we read, little ones end up memorizing the books and they end up knowing what goes next or what where the cow belongs or they start making noises like, ooh, for the cow. This is a very awesome time for learning. And then also, I, I normally always say this, we want to make reading fun. We want to make reading um, a, a part of our daily routines. And by doing this as modeling parents, we as moms and dads are the ones that are read to our little ones every day. If we keep continuing to do this since now this age time is perfect. Um, by the time they reach one or uh, 18 months, 15 months, they'll be bringing the books to you and that's what we want. We want to be creating readers. And the activity for this week is going to be uh, caregiving interaction, talking and playing. I already know you guys do all the talking, <laughs> but this is a good one. This is what we're going to have is you and your baby, of course, and then you have like diapers or small toy, and this is how we're going to do this activity. Diapering your, your active baby can be a challenge. Caring for your baby is easier when you have everything ready and include her in routines. Gather your supplies before you start. Tell your baby, I'm going to change your diaper now. Talk about, talk with her about what you're doing. Make up songs and rhymes. Be a little silly. Hi, little one. What do you see? Want a clean diaper? Quick as can be. That was really cute. It may be helpful to keep small toys nearby to distract your baby while you're cleaning her. As the baby starts growing, you're going to start noticing that changing a diaper is not as easy as just, whoop, let's do this. Now you're going to notice that they're getting very antsy. They want to be moving around. And this is perfect where you start incorporating singing. You can start singing, catching their attention, or bring a toy, keep their attention up here and not be moving around everywhere. And, you know, sometimes those poopy diapers can be a little tough. Also, it may be helpful to keep small toys Wash her hands when you wash your hands. Repeat the words and rhymes and songs each time your baby will anticipate what you're doing. Let's say if you always sing um, um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, they will already know, oh, mommy is singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. They already know what's going to happen. They already know it's going to be bad time or if it's going to be diaper change. And what's in it for us in this activity is going to be language. Language at this age, your baby is starting to build a list of words she understands. Social emotional. Your baby loves when you play together, even during caregiving routines. She wants you to pay attention to her. And social emotional. She is happy most of the time, but she can become frustrated when things don't go her way. And of course, babies have their own mindset. And what do they do when things don't go their way? Crying. Or they don't, they, they're hungry and they won't even lash to the bottle. Or they're uh, tired or hot, but since they're already so mad, they don't want to do anything that's going to help the situation because they're frustrated. One more thing, your child's brain. As your baby does things over and over, memory, memory pathways are created in her brain. She will remember pleasant routines of diaper changing time. Also a safety tip, moms and dads, your baby is starting to sit Row scoot now. Be sure not to leave her even when a, even for a moment while she's on changing table or in a bath. It is very, very, very important not to leave our little ones alone. Sometimes we may say they're in the bed, you're changing their diaper, and you say, I'm just gonna grab the the, the baby powder, I'm just gonna grab the ointment. It doesn't only take a second for that baby to roll off the bed or roll off the diaper changing. That's when you're bathing them. That sometimes we forget we have so many things going on that we're going to get ready to bathe them and we are forgetting to bring the washcloth. We're forgetting to bring their baby shampoo. And what we do, we want to leave. No, it's very important if that happens, have someone else stand with them, wash them while you go and grab what you need. 
and if it's something that you is constantly happening, what you want to do is get a caddy and have everything already in one one location, one station, so you can just grab the caddy and be able to dust diaper changing a caddy for when you're uh, gonna bathe the baby. We want to be very mindful of that. At this, um, sometimes we feel oh they're they're little, they're not. Mm. In reality, we won't even know exactly at six. At four months and three days, your baby will roll over. It's very, very hard, and we don't want to find out by having our child on, on, land on the floor by when they learn. Also, in book sharing, book time can be any time your baby slows down. Maybe she would like to play with a book while you are changing her diaper. Awesome. At this age group, reading time can be very difficult, but as you can see, we have books like this. You can hand them the book, or they can be looking at the book while you're changing their diaper. Um... <clears throat> this is what we want. We want caregiver interaction. We want talking. We want playing. We want singing. At this age time, it's very crucial that we sing, that we talk to them for everything that we're doing. And this is what we have, playing and talking. And then also next, um, for our parent handout, we have fine smile. This is what you guys have in your packet. Find smile. Fill in the blanks with skills your child is working on during an activity. Or you can draw this figure on the back of the activity pages. This helps you get a mental picture of your child's development, which is social, emotional, motor, intellectual, not cognitive, and language, and emotional. You can use the first letter of each one. And what we have here, you put the child's name and date. You can actually do this with all your children, not just with one. And then also what we have here in communication. How is your little one in communication and language? Is he already saying mama, papa, agua, dada? Is he already saying, um, uh, making noises? Is he a go, 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 a ba, 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 ba? You know, that's language. They're communicating with you. And fine motor, are they able to hold their bottle? Are they able to start grabbing, uh, pinching their binky? Are they able to try to reach? Are they able to take off the blanket when you're trying to bundle them? Or to reaching? What is it that they're doing? Intellectual, what is in thinking skills? Are, you know, what, what are you watching? Are you noticing that when he, when dad walks in, the baby's already, already opening their eyes or smiling? That's thinking skills. Or if they already see you shaking the bottle, they get excited. Oh, oh, it's feeling time. And social emotional. Is your baby laughing? Is your baby smiling? Is your baby crying? Is your baby getting startled? Is he getting scared when he hears a lot of noise? You know, that's social emotional. Is he getting happy when he sees you talking? Do you see any face uh, um, changing? Do you see when he gets mad, he starts crunching his face? Or when he's happy, he starts smiling or wiggling? And then in gross motor, which is gross motor is more and reaching with their whole hands. Are they moving their feet? Are they kicking their feet up and down to get those socks off? You know, there's a lot of things that your baby's already doing at this time. And this just gives you a, 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 a handout where you're able to write everything down. And sometimes we're living life so fast that we don't take time to appreciate everything or to acknowledge exactly what is it that's happening around us. So this is a great one that you guys can do so you can see, wow, my baby's already doing this. Wow, my baby, um, it says mama already. My baby's saying dada when he sees daddy. You know, things like that. And it's, this was already added in your packet for you guys to uh, be able to fill it out together. And as well, like I said, mom and dad, you don't have to just necessarily do it with the infant in our program. You can also do it with any other of your little ones at home. And what we have here is nutrition facts. Building good food habits. Sun safety. Summer's around the corner. Even now in spring, our days are getting a little bit hotter than normal. Baby skin is delicate and it burns easy. Babies need fresh air and light, but too much sun can be harmful. Researchers have found that severe sunburn in childhood can lead to greater risk of most deadly form of skin cancer. And malignant melanoma later in life we want to be very very cautious when we do take our little ones out strolling for a walk or when we take them to the park or to the zoo as the sun is very very crucial and you don't have to be in the sun for so long to get a sunburn and especially our little ones is very very uh, delicate for them here are some simple steps that help you and your baby enjoy sun safety 
Before six months, keep your baby out of the sun. After six months, always put a sunscreen lotion. You always want to put sunscreen lotion with a 30 or higher sun protection factor SPF. When you guys go get your... Um, <clears throat> When you guys get your sunscreen protection lotion, it's gonna have a number. You always wanna to try to get something higher than 35. There's 35, there's 40, 50, 70, 75, 100. The higher it is, the better it is. And you wanna do this for all of you guys, for yourself and your babies and, and, and your children. Um, your, oh, here it is, on your baby and yourself and you'll be in the sun. Test a small area in your baby's skin to check for reaction before applying. You want to make sure before you apply it in your baby's face or in their body, you want to just put some in their, like in their pan to see if they don't have a reaction to it. Some babies may not have a reaction to it, but we may not, not know for surely that your baby won't have one. So it's better just to keep that, um, that sense of security and just do it um, in a minor area first. Also, stay out of the sun from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. when the sun rays are the strongest. Sun rays are so strong with this test time period, 10 and 3 p.m. I know normally at that's the time frame they were actually out and about, we're at the parks, we're at the zoo. But if you do so, please be mindful. And if you're able not to, you don't need to be out at that time. After 3 p.m. is, you know, awesome, great. Keep your baby in the shade. If you use a stroller, keep the sun shade on. Put a hat on your baby and dress him lightweight clothes that cover his body. Dress like dress like that yourself if your baby um, gets sunburned put put a cold wet towels and um, the burns if it's a fever if he has a fever or a blisters develop please call your doctor it's very important that we are very cautious for our little ones you know sometimes our little ones can have a sunburn or so and you may not know it because they're not crying about it and we have to be very very cautious and, and you know be mindful at things Building good food habits, and then here I'm just gonna say one little thing about this: way to help your baby develop good eating habits. Make meals happy and relaxed times. Feed, feed her with the rest of the family. Make a family meal time, including your baby, including your infant. Feed her as much as she wants, but don't force to eat more than what she wants. You know, feed her her plate, and she's able to eat all the food in her plate. Great. Don't overfeed our little ones. If she, you see that she's completely done, that's more than perfect, that's fine. Also, you wanna prevent choking. Do not give your, ba your baby small, firm, and slippery foods such as peanuts, raisins, whole grapes, hard candy, popcorn, raw carrots, or hot dogs cut into circles. Some people think it's okay to cut foods into small circles for babies to eat but this size of a food can get stuck in their throats and choke them. Be very, very mindful when we try to give our babies some type of snacks. I like to explain here, no popcorn, no raw peanuts, no raw carrots, no raw hot dogs, candy, raisins, all that can, you know, our little ones are very, very, very little, you know, sometimes we choke on a grape. Imagine our little one trying to eat a grape. You know, we want to wait till it's time appropriate to be able to in, um, introduce our little ones to these kinds of snacks. All this great information that I was able to provide for you guys is going to be in your packet. And you guys are be able to just uh, read it and go over it before your home visitor gives you a call. It's like that when your home visitor calls you, you already know what's going to happen and what is it that you want to discuss or if you have any questions or any or any concerns or any feedback that you would like to provide for us for our following video, it's more than welcome to accept that. And then also I just wanted to include here before we end this video, um, recruiting time is around the corner. Uh, we are recruiting our families for our next school year. We have a few families that are transitioning already. Our, our older toddlers are going to Head Start, so we are having spaces available. If you have any friend, any family member that's in, uh, interested in a home-based program, um, can you just provide them with information or give us their name and number? We're more than happy to give them a call and, you know, give them all the information that they're needed, that there is needed to be able to enroll in our program. We are always happy that you guys refer families to us. That gives us a sense of security that we're doing our job and you guys enjoy the program so much that you're willing to encourage other people to come in and join us. That always makes us happy and thank you so much for doing that. Also as well, you were able to get, um, well child's and um, shots and dentals during spring break please 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 
give them to your home visitor. We are going to be having a distribution. If it's possible, you can bring it at that time. Or if not, you can just take a picture, send it to us, and we will give it to our family development um, specialist. We want to keep that accurate. We do want to stay up to date in immunizations and well childs and dentals. I know it can be tough right now to get an appointment. Mm -hmm. Please, please be mindful that it's very important that we have all the accurate information. And thank you once again. My name is Miss Cinderventeria. I am more than happy to be here with you guys. Please be mindful. Please take care. Wash your hands. You know, uh, take care of your little ones. Protect yourself from the sun. Protect your babies from the sun. Remember, you want to sing to them every day. You want to read to them every day. They always love that one-on-one -on -one attention from you moms and dads. And you guys are doing an awesome job. Our, we can see it whenever we do our home visit, when we do our Zoom, we see our little ones thriving. We see our little ones already are recognizing ourselves. They're already, um, our parents are, are giving us feedback like, oh, my baby did this and my baby did that. And that makes us happy. And, you know, and it keeps us going and in, encouraging us to. Um, and then one more thing I wanted to say, we will be having a parent conference next month. Your home visitor will give you more information. I hope all of you guys join, mommies and daddies. And this is going to be a fun, fun, fun afternoon for you guys. Thank you one more time. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.